Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'll be reading Psalms 30 of the King James Version Bible and it reads, I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried unto thee and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but a moment, in his favour is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And in my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. Lord, by thy favour, Thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst hide thy face, and I was troubled. I cried to thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall I declare thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. To the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee for ever. Okay guys, so in this chapter, David is again acknowledging God's work over his life. The fact that God has brought him prosperity and has caused him to be lifted up um, a standard, to be lifted up to a standard where his foes and his enemies have to look at him in awe and know that, okay, David is backed by God. David is actually being empowered by God. And so they can only wonder. He's received so much favor because of God. And he speaks of a time where he he could not see God. He could not hear from God. He could not speak to God. And he cried to the Lord and he made supplication. And we saw it earlier in Psalms as well, where he was crying to the Lord and asking the Lord not to hide his face from him. Okay, and to be his help. And here he says that he had asked the Lord to be his help. And the Lord did indeed come through for him. He asked the Lord for mercy. And the Lord shows mercy also. Okay, and we see where he said that the Lord had turned his mourning into dancing. And that reminds me of a song. I love that song. I haven't sung it in a while, but yeah, I won't be singing it tonight. <laughs> Guys, but yeah. Um, so you will continue to sing God's praise and not be silent. And I mean, God has done so much for me, so I will not be silent either. And that's why I love the song that says, I will not be silent. I will always worship you. I love that song. So this basically... You know, I can actually sing that song with feeling, with joy, because I know what the Lord has indeed done for me. And I know that he'll continue to keep me. And he's turned my sadness into happiness so many times, time and time again. And I know he has done the same for many. And so I cannot be silent when it comes to him. And if you see me guys at church, you will know what I'm talking about, okay? I do not keep silent, okay? I don't care what nobody else want to say. I don't care what anybody want to say. I don't want to care what anybody thinks. They might think I'm going crazy or whatever, but my praise is to God, not to anybody else. And I, every time I think on that, I'm like, I remember when David was basically dancing in the street and his wife, Mikhail, Mikhail, was that her name? Michelle? Michelle, Mikhail, whatever her name was, was basically angry that David basically stripped off his garments while he was praising God. 
But that's just it. When you're praising God, you don't see anything else. You don't care about anything else. And that's why it's good when you have people around you that can understand and actually have a spirit of discernment that know when to do stuff and when not to, when to just let the Lord have his way. Hallelujah. And so we see here where David is saying that he will always give thanks unto the Lord. And I can attest to the same. I will forever give thanks and praise unto God. And I hope, I am really hoping and praying that you all will do the same. Give thanks to God, okay, and give him all the praises that he deserves because he is indeed worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. It doesn't belong to us, it belongs to him, okay? All right, guys, and it's not for us. It's for, it's for us in a way, but it's for him also, Okay? Alright guys, so please remember to continue to walk in your salvation. And if you've not yet gained it, then seek it. There's no better time to begin than the present. Have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.